This is Nikki with Design Like a Pro, and today I'm filling a request from Savaged Out 831 who left a comment wanting to know a little bit more about how to design a magazine cover with a spine in mind. Now, there's two types of binding that we deal with typically with magazine covers. One is saddle stitched, and that's where you have staples down the center of your magazine that holds everything together. The other option is perfect binding, and this is where spine comes into play. Now, the number one thing that you can do is ask your printer what the spine width should be for your project, because everybody's project is different depending on your paper weight and your paper, the number of pages that you're going to be using. So my hypothetical situation today will show you how to set up a document with a spine in mind, but the actual dimensions will vary depending on your situation. All right, so let's get going here in InDesign. We're going to create a brand new document, and we are going to use A3 as the size with an orientation of landscape. Now, we're designing the front and the back cover on the same sheet of paper. The best thing that you can do when you're going to have a magazine that's perfect bound is to create your front and back cover in a separate document than the rest of your pages. The reason being that you really only need to consider the spine on your front and back cover because that's the paper that's going to go around your pages. Your other pages can be designed just like you normally would design pages. So we're going to design the front and back cover in this InDesign document and then we'll save it separately from the rest of our pages. Now. We have our A3 size, we're going to have two columns because the columns will represent our front cover and our back cover. Margins is key because we want to know where our limits are with our content and half an, half an inch is pretty generous in keeping our content away from the edges. And then we always have our bleed here of eighth of an inch, which adds a quarter of an inch to your width and your height. All right. Now the gutter is where we can define our spine. Now the best thing that you can do is, like I said, ask your printer for specifics. But if you're having a hundred page magazine or so, typically you're looking at an eighth of an inch for your spine. That's pretty typical. If you go to 200 pages and double that, again, you're going to have to play with that depending on your actual pages. But if eighth of an inch is pretty standard. Most perfect bound magazines aren't super thick until you get into hundreds and hundreds of pages. So if we're going to just say that it's eighth of an inch, we're going to add that into our gutter, giving that a total of 0.2917 inches. Okay, so then we have this all set, and if we hit OK, what happened? Hang on, 0.2917. There we go. Okay. So here's where the magic is, is of our cover. Now, if I zoom out here, this area right here is going to be your spine. So this can be our front cover, and this can be our back cover, and this will be our spine. So we can design this all in one page. Now, one step farther is to add some guides here. So if this is at about eight, I'm going to add another eighth of an inch guide to this side. And then we're going to do the same thing over here. So that is going to give us 8.625. Okay. So what this does is this adds a little space on both sides of our spine for folding. So actually these will be our fold lines. So if that's the case, you're leaving a lot of space for your content. You do not want your front and back cover to go anywhere into this area. Now, if you're using a solid color, that of course can bleed over. But you just want to make sure that nothing important like text from your front and back cover is getting anywhere near this area. Okay, this is strictly reserved for the spine. So now what you can do is you can start designing your covers based on this space. So just to visually show this to you, this will be our front. And 
and this will be the back with this area as the spine. You want to make sure that everything stays in this area for the front cover and this for the back. Now keeping in mind your margins will help you as well keep that important content away from the edges. That is key to make sure that all text stays in this area for the front cover and this area for the back cover. All right, so this is a quick look at how to set up your magazine cover with spines in mind when you're going to be perfect binding that finished magazine. Again, this is just an example of a hypothetical situation for around a 100 page magazine. Every situation is different, so make sure that you talk to your printer about their specifics for your project. If you have any questions, feel free to leave those in the comments below and I will do my best to answer those. You can always email ideas for upcoming episodes to ideas at NikkiHeart.com and be sure to subscribe to stay in the know of the latest Design Like a Pro tutorials. Thank you guys for watching and thanks again to Savaged Out 831 for the wonderful episode suggestion. Thank you.